uh, another apprentice series uh, this time episode seven uh, how to put door plates down uh, we one pet hater man I've done it with apprentices you tell them to put a door bar down the, the floor's not clean there's nail heads sticking up and then the door bars rocking uh, to me door door bars are like a finishing a finishing thing on a floor covering so you've got to get it right anyway we've got Dan Evans uh, uh, the new UK carpet fitter of the year winner 2022 so he's going to show us how to put a door plate down correctly uh, so what you're putting down Dan what we're going to do is we put a, a raised base single down so the difference with this is it's got a slight raise so it sits off the floor and it sits in line with the underlay if you haven't got a raised base you can use a normal flat base but then what you want to do is you want to raise it up underneath just so it's sit diminishing so, strips yeah like two mil diminishing strip John Ray and stair rods yeah. yeah easy shims that type of thing just so you get a nice transition between the edge of the underlay and the pins that are lying in the edge of the underlay so your carpet goes in then you get a nice nice finish um, but we're using a raised one so that's already done for us what I'm going to do is use this adjustable straight edge so there's none of this tape measure in there trying to guess which number it's on forgetting when you take it away we're just going to get that in there so we know the width we need screw that up take that out I could take that downstairs I could take that out to the van it's going to be exactly the same size I've not got to try and remember what number we're on and then all you do is just transfer that across like so just give it a little little mark on the edge See what a lot do, they mark it, uh, they, they measure it with a tape measure, measure it on the plate and then put the thumb there. Yeah, it, it, I mean, you're then, you could be a millimetre out, too big, too small. We've just got a nice little mark there, so we know exactly where we need to cut it. And then you're cutting to the, to the opposite side of that mark as well. You are, you? yeah. And obviously what we're going to do. Nothing worse than nice seeing a door plate a mil, couple of mil short, is it? Yeah. Crane mitre blocks you're using there. Yeah, definitely crane mitre blocks. This gives us a nice square, square finish. It's always better using a mitre block because you're not putting it on your leg and yeah, putting so your leg over it. You're yeah. only trying to put it, put it on your leg, put it on your kicker, trying to swing in a seven foot bar around by yeah. the wallpaper. You've not got to worry about anything like that. Um, nice square finish. And then what we're going to do? Just double check, make sure it fits. Yeah, it will do. So with these bits here, we're just going to notch them out so that we get a nice finish in the recess there in the jam of the door. So we're just going to use a pair of tin snips. <laughs> Left handers. <laughs> yeah, some dodgy old tools there. So you're just notching out just enough for the we're recess? Just notching out just enough. So we're just notching this out. And then the main thing is when you've uplifted an old door bar, you've got the old nail heads, you've got the old adhesive, which is still there. If you just try and go on top of that, you're only bonding to that old adhesive or it's not going to sit nice and flat and flush. So what we're going to do, we're going to get all this old adhesive off, all the old nails, and give it a nice scrape through. And if you've got your vinyl floor in like that is there, sometimes people run the vinyl to here, fix their strip to the yeah. vinyl. So you shouldn't be doing that. You should be really lipping it just under the edge. If it's a loose lay vinyl, it'll slip under there. If it's glued down, you're just sitting on top. Then when you fix your strip, you're only fixing to the to the subfloor, aren't you? There we go. Right, so we have just going to get that nice little hoover, get all the old adhesive. So you want the floor as flat as possible, anything, any nail heads? Any, any nail heads, you even want to take the nails out, put the nails in, you want a nice smooth finish, you don't want bits of grit underneath, because what's going to happen is, over time when you're walking on it, you're going to hear that bit of grit underneath the bar, it's going to rock around, it's not got it's enough. It's never going to flatten, It's it? never going to. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to check this, make sure it fits in it. 
There we go. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is when we position this door bar, we're going to allow a millimetre to two millimetres against the jam. Because what we're going to do is we're then going to nap this door bar down and that just allows it to knock down so you get a nice finish against that edge. So if it's too close, you won't be able to knock it down. If it's too close, point. so if we put it right in the door jam there, we're going to flatten, or over time, if we didn't pre-flatten it, the door bar is going to start to flatten. And then just here, you're going to see a bulge in the door bar. So we just want to leave it a couple of mil back. And then when we nap it down, it's just going to sit perfectly against the door jam. So I've just checked that. That's going to sit nice and flush and nice and flat. So now we want to apply the adhesive. So we've got the flexi fix for this. Yeah. And what you want to do is you want to do a nice bead of adhesive all the way along. You don't want to just do dollops here, there and everywhere because then you're going to get bits which aren't sitting. I mean, this, this is a critical thing, isn't it? This is what will trip people over if it's not right. What we're going to do, we're going to position that in. I'm just going to give it a nice little rub along there. And we've left our couple of mil gap either side. Gonna you know. see if that'll nail down. Uh, if you've got some some nails, I can put a. Don't know how you'll go with my hammer. I mean, if I glued that well all over like you have there, I would a couple of pins in it to hold it while the glue is drying, and you're good to go, aren't you, really? Yeah, and then what we do is before the adhesive's gone off. And before you've got it in front of the carpet or the carpet put in there, we're just going to use a wet wipe, just clean off any of this dirt. Have you got a wet wipe there? I've got these balls wipes, yeah. really good they are. Perfect. You always give the door bars a clean up beforehand. If you're fitting white carpet, you don't want to be cleaning it afterwards because you don't want to be getting all that, that dirt over the front of the carpet. So just give them a clean up before you fit the carpet or before you cut it, get it in its final position. And we'll try and put a nail in the floor, Let's see if we can get a nail in this one. This is an odd floor, yeah. I'll give it a go and we'll see. There we go, it takes a nail nicely. And that's just going to give it bit of extra support while that adhesive's curing. You can work on on the job now, can't you, once it's held yeah. with nails. There we go. And that's sitting nice and flush to the floor, got no movement in that. There we go. And that is down now, ready to stretch the carpet back in. So what we'll do, we'll have a little tidy up. Yeah, so we've got that, that's nicely, nicely fixed and solid there. So we're just gonna re-stretch the carpet back in. That's what we wanna do, is we don't wanna be tucking the carpet first and trying to stretch it in, because what's gonna happen then, it's all gonna bulge and you're not gonna get a nice finish. So we're gonna get it stretched onto the pins. And then what we're gonna do, that's got all the tension back in the carpet. Keep our fingers on those pins just so it don't bulge back. Give it a nice little tuck in there. Just 
typically it's normally the last thing you do anyway is finish in the door, isn't it? Alright, we're going to get the bradle. Then what we're going to do there, just run that along so we get a nice Stray tufts. You're always going to get these stray tufts when you've taken a, a door bar up. I'm just going to get a nice little and there we go. That carpet is stretched back into the bar, and then all we've got to do then is just dress this door bar down so that when these little gaps will flatten as we dress it down. We use a rubber mallet. We've got. A I haven't got a tapping block, mate. Why would you dress it down, Dan? So that it dresses down and holds the carpet into the door bar. Also, with a single, over time, in the main area, the main walk area, as people step on that bar, it's going to push itself down. So what we want to do is we want to dress that first so we don't get these bumps in the door bar and the carpet is and it, it causes it to when it dishes it causes it to split that's as it well. yeah and it's only just a, a little tap isn't it down you're not smashing yeah we're not and we're not using a, a, a full size hammer or metal we're just using a, a rubber mallet or a, a block of wood and it is literally just to dress it down obviously we don't have a block of wood normally and we yeah, dress it down yeah that block of wood gets you into the corner won't you that just gives you a nice, nice finish along there. And as you can see, it's not rocking around. It's a nice smooth. Nice brush. and flat. Nice and flat. There you go. There you go, how to fit a doorbell properly. Cheers, Dan. Thanks.